NASA has shared a rare teaser photo before the highly anticipated release of the first deep space images from the James Webb Telescope, which is going to happen next week. The James Webb Telescope is an instrument that is extremely powerful. It can also peer back into the origins of the universe. The $10 billion telescope was launched in December 2021 and is now revolving around the sun from a million miles away from Earth. It can reach out to the things that no other telescope has seen, mainly because of its massive primary mirror and instruments that focus on infrared. This allows it to peer through dust and gas. The first fully formed pictures are set for release on July 12, but NASA has provided an engineering test picture on Wednesday. It is a result of 72 exposures over 32 hours that displays a set of distant stars and galaxies. The picture also has some rough-around-the-edges qualities. NASA has said that it is among the deepest images of the universe ever taken and gives a tantalizing look at what will be revealed in the coming weeks. Neil Rowlands, the program scientist for Webb's Fine Guidance Sensor at Honeywell Aerospace, said that when this image was taken, he was thrilled to clearly see all the detailed structure in these faint galaxies. Jane Rigby, Webb's operations scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, claimed that the faintest blobs in this picture are actually the types of faint galaxies that Webb will study in its first year of science operations. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said that Webb is prepared to stare further into the universe than any other telescope. He said, It's going to explore objects in the solar system and atmospheres of exoplanets orbiting other stars, giving us evidence as to whether potentially their atmospheres are similar to our own. It may answer some questions that we have like, where do we come from? What more is out there? Who are we? And of course, it's going to answer some questions that we don't even know what the questions are. Webb's infrared skills allow it to see back in time to the Big Bang, which appeared 13.8 billion years ago. As the universe is expanding, light from the earliest stars changes from the ultraviolet and visible wavelengths it was emitted in to longer infrared wavelengths, which Webb is prepared to inspect at an unusual resolution. At present, the earliest cosmological observations date back to 330 million years of the Big Bang, but with Webb's powers, astronomers believe that they will break this record. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope. It will explore the universe to uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and beyond all different things. It is one of NASA's great observatories huge space instruments that comprise the likes of the Hubble Space Telescope to study deep into the universe. It took 30 days for the James Webb Space Telescope to travel almost a million miles to its permanent home, which is a Lagrange point. It is basically a gravitationally stable location in space. The telescope arrived at L2, the second Sun-Earth Lagrange point on January 24. L2 is a spot in space near Earth that lies opposite from the Sun. This orbit will allow the telescope to live in line with Earth as it orbits the Sun. It has been a famous spot for many other space telescopes, including the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope will concentrate on four main areas. This includes light in the universe, assembly of galaxies in the early universe, birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, and planets. The James Webb Space Telescope will go through a series of science and calibration tests including sun shield deployment, telescope deployment, instrument turn-on, and telescope alignment. On June 17, NASA declared that Webb was about halfway through its instrument checks. On its Twitter handle, it said, As of today, seven out of Webb's 17 instrument modes are ready for science. The great James Webb Space Telescope is also expected to take stunning resemblances of celestial objects, just like the Hubble. Luckily for astronomers, the Hubble Space Telescope is in good health and it's possible that the two telescopes will work together for James Webb Space Telescope's initial years. James Webb Space Telescope will also look at exoplanets that the Kepler Space Telescope has found, or it can also follow up on real-time observations from ground space telescopes. The JWST is the product of an amazing international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. According to NASA, the JWST involved more than 300 universities, organizations, and companies across 29 U.S. states and 14 countries. The JWST is named after former NASA chief James Webb. Webb took charge of the space agency from 1961 to 1968 and was retired just a few months before NASA laid the first man on the moon. However, Webb's tenure as NASA administrator is associated with the Apollo Moon Program. Well, he is also considered as a leader in space science. Even in a time of enormous political chaos, Webb set NASA's science objectives. He depicted that launching a large space telescope should be an important goal of the space agency. 
NASA has launched more than 75 space science missions under Webb's direction. These include missions that studied the Sun, stars, and galaxies, along with space directly above Earth's atmosphere. Well, that's it for today. What are your thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. See you soon. Thanks for watching.